Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can share variables from the PLC M241, M251 or M262 into an HMI program on VGL Designer Basic. So let's go to the Machine Expert first. Okay, so there are different ways to communicate the HMI. Uh, the variables from the PLC to the HMI. The traditional one is to assign uh, some memory addresses and then the HMI need to point to that. But that integration needs to be done manually. Okay. The other way is to add a relocation table. So the machine expert assign some addresses to the variables and then the HMI can point to those registers. But again, that integration is manual. The other alternative is to use the pack drive driver that we have on Visual Designer Basic. So we can export the XML file from the machine export and then read all the variables on the HMI. Okay. So let's start with a project. So I have this project already working on my case. Uh, it's a template, it doesn't have anything at all, it just has the API address that I want. But let's add some logic. Okay, so I'm going to create um, something here, a new POU, a SAR name, and I'm going to use a structure test text. So GBL, you can use this GBL or create another one. So for example, GBL, GBL underscore HMI. And here in the GDFHMI, what I'm going to do is to create variables. So enable, it's just a counter reset my counter, my counter max. Okay, now that I have this, we can Put integer, integer. Okay. Now, now that we have these variables, I'm just creating something in my case, we can use them here. Okay. I'm going to create the same variables on the GBL. Now, I have the same variable name, but the initial part, the GBL name, okay, is different. So that would be the only different thing. So if the GBL underscore HMI dot enable is true, then I want that the GBL underscore HMI dot Counter increments the value Counter plus one. So now, if uh, this is going to be with this uh, scan cycle of the PLC, so it's going to to run um, if gbl underscore hmi dot x reset then we can put this over here to zero and if gbl dot no gbl underscore page my is uh, gb underscore hmi dot counter is bigger equal than gbl underscore hmi counter max then we reset this once again Okay, 
the best will be to have like a blink probably so every second it will increment one but we can leave it this way um uh, here what we can add is the initialization for this one that says like this so imagine that you have your code already working fine and you call this in the mast and if you combine this you should have no errors at all now in order to share the variables what you need to do is to go into the tools tree tools tree if you're not able to see that view navigators tools tree and here right click add object symbol configuration here for the future you can put this this one and path here you should be able to see all the variables that have that have been used okay here you can see they have gbl but i don't have the gbl this one on the list because there is no variable inside here used in my code. It will have been different if at least one of the variables have been used. Okay, that's why I just put them over there so you can see the difference. So I got this. So now I'm going to connect to the controller. I got this one. And F. Administrator, administrator one. Okay, so remember the credentials. This PLC has a credential, and I just recommend you to have the credentials in your controllers. Yes, let's unload this. now run so if i enable this you can see that it's counting up so it's doing something so the logic seems to work and if i reset this reset which is fine okay so far so good now what i want to do is to check how can I import these variables into the other side so what we need to do is to go here into generate code okay and that will generate um i believe in the past it has different button okay so generate code and that will create a xml file that is located on the wonder where the project is located so let me just open this up so it's over here in this folder this is the project called basic project and we should be able to have this so you can see here on the left on the right side i have now xml format the gbl name the application name the four variables that i have and all are read write okay so we need to access to this from the geo designer now i'm going to open the geo designer here I'm going to create a new project Um, let's meet single I'm going to use the ET6 I'm going to use anyone with Ethernet the one that have the 01 is does only modulus so we select this one next we're going to focus on later 
there is something important in every audit trade i'm going to tell you that later but if you can do it then you just start with this we can carry on here you can add the driver but i'm going to show you how it's done in case you miss it so now here in your manager we just need to add the driver As you can see we had the possibility to use uh more of tcp also to you machine expert ethernet machine expert C pack drive okay we have a few things so this one machine expert pack drive and see here what we need to do is to select the um not name okay so the not name is going to be the non name of the PLC. So if we go to the machine expert, this is my not name, my M262L, my M262L. Here I need to use security administrator, administrator one. Show password. There we go. If you don't have this driver, you just need to use the one for pack drive. Okay, for the pack drive tree. Because in the past, in the previous version, we don't have this. So it's good. But maybe I'm confusing with Visual Designer. Visual Designer has that one. Okay. So there we go. So we have this and we can rename this. It's going to be M, my M262L or my M262. So here we have the name of the driver. Now here in variables, we just need to import the XML file. So link variables. Okay. Then we just need to find here or XML and then we just need to go to the folder now I'm going to go directly to the folder okay okay now in the folder now so here we have this my M262 picture designer basic okay open remember that the equipment is select this one okay the one that I have here if you, do, if you have plenty of them, just remember to select the one you need. Open. And here it will read all the values that we have. And then you just click and add. And here you have different ways. Just put it on the same folder. Add. Yes. There we go. Close. And the variables are here. Okay, now machine that you want to add another variable here. I'm going to use enable two. Okay. Combine. Connect. It's important that you don't uh, delete the path that is already linked. Otherwise, you need to start again from scratch. And it's not the idea once you have developed everything. Okay. Generate code. Here, if I go again. It's my back here. See my configuration. I need to select this. Combine, select, add here. Okay, we don't load. Oh, I see stop. 
Now, if I build generic code and open once again this, here you have the enable tool already available. Now, if we open Visual Designer, here, new equipment for variables. If you have this update link, you never remove it. Otherwise, if you need to add it again, you will create another folder. And that will be a mess if you already have some variables already linked to alarms. Don't do that. Just update. If you see this part in red, select update and you will open the folders to select the right path. New variables here, update. And you have these two. Up. Close. Now, just to show you that it works, it's important that you match the not name and the security. So now what I'm going to do is to show you the this, the uh, switch with lamp, my PLC, enable, okay, bit, toggle, control C, control B, out, color, this one, on this one, if it's on, yeah. Same path for reset. And this one for reset. Apply. Okay. Uh, we can put this like static enable. We can make it as fancy as we want, but I just wanted to make it fast just to show how it works. And here I'm going to use the counter and money two and select the counter. And then here control C control V enable input counter max. Let's enable the input mode to so everything seems to be working fine. So let's simulate. Just give it a little bit of time. And there we go. So enable some counting. <laughs> then it should reset as soon as it reaches this value. There we go. Reset. There we go. So this is how you connect the machine expert with the Visual Designer Basic. Okay. Uh, you have this driver that I already have. This one, machine expert part drive. Um that I believe in the previous version wasn't there. It's just a background. But this is how you can connect the two, the two softwares. As you can see it's very easy. The important thing is to know the node name. And if you have security on the controller, then you just need to import the variables. Okay, the XML file, select the ones that you want. And it's important not to delete this part. Okay, just so this is how you can connect these two family ranges for the PLCs and for the HMI just in one place. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.